this was um, reading on Kalimnik and, uh, you know, the Russian, uh, who, who worked directly with Putin, and uh, he was helping the Trump administration. And so this was my question on Trump, Trump's involvement with this. And uh, Kalimnik's uh, aid, okay, Russia's aid. So in the center of it, you know, um, Trump was passionate about this, okay? These fed into his dreams, his hopes, his dreams, and they had these communications, okay? And he thought that up here, you know, he loved the idea. He thought it was a sweetheart deal. Um, you know, Kalimnik was talking about, we know how to fix this. The, you know, your campaign's ill, you need help. And he was all, you know, in despair and said, yeah, okay. So he had these conversations, communications with Mother Russia. At first, you know, with my other deck, the ones that I originally put the cards out with, uh, you know, it's a much more impressive woman. Um, and at first I thought maybe it's Ivanka or something, but no, it's Mother Russia, okay? Um, they were having conversations and say, look, we've got the information, we've got the knowledge, how to aid you. This, your, your campaign needs to help, okay? So he, you know, this Kalimnik was a direct contact communication with Pudi. And this was their ideal, their hopes and their desires as well to see Trump win. So, you know, these were about these communications, the messages he brought forward to move everything forward, to anchor it in, okay, so that uh, Trump could get the win. Again, over here we have, they had the information and they had the wherewithal to implement it. They told them how to implement it and was promising him over here um, that things would move forward for him, that it would be beneficial, <clears throat> okay? So we have, again, he's all about the money, you know, looking good. And uh, so, yeah, he was all in on this plan. Again, very passionate about it. Found a way to anchor in his win. They would put all this false information out about Biden. He had continued uh, conversations with him about the knowledge, how to do this, and, you know, to accomplish his dreams about this. Again, communications with Russia were ongoing in order to take these messages forward, anchor them in, and move everything forward for him. Trump, again, was all in love with this idea, sweetheart deal. I'm going to be, you know, in easy street here. They are going to give me the information how to go forward, okay? And they helped him with implementing this, putting this out there. Again, we can, your, your, your thing is sick, we can fix it. Uh, don't despair. We're, we're, you know, Russia is right here. Okay. Russia, Russia is right here to help you through this. Okay. So, you know, in a nutshell, uh, that's what I'm getting with Kalimnik and Trump. Trump is, again, passionate about this. Passionate about this. Okay. Getting the win how to get the win, how to move this forward, okay? And keeping those communication lines open. Now, remember when the first thing they did when they, uh, when he took power, little Donnie Dark Jr. was what? Going to the Russian embassy because he wanted to do a back channel to Russia so that they would not see the communications between Trump and in Russia, okay? Um, they didn't want this to get out, okay? 
but they had ongoing communications, ongoing knowledge, ongoing drama that they were communicating with Russia. Okay. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot more to come out on this. But I want to put that out there real quick as to what I was getting this morning. I would have liked to use my other cards, um, but they are just too big. I don't have enough space here. <laughs> See how large these cards are. I love these, but uh, there's my one. If I put that here, yeah, they're just too huge. So I had to uh, substitute the other deck. Same cards, but uh, just had to use the other deck. So anyway, that's what I get with Kalimnik and Trump and Russia aiding in the election to uh, get Trump elected. So love and light. See you online.